NASA study to save from Yellowstone eruption sparked warning. Could be too late. Yellowstone volcano was at the center of an exploratory study to save the world from a super eruption, which later sparked a warning that it could be too late if action was not taken. The caldera was formed during the last three big events. The Huckleberry Ridge eruption 2.1 million years ago. The Mesa Falls eruption 1.3 million years ago and the Lava Creek eruption approximately 630,000 years ago. Located below Yellowstone National Park, the area is constantly monitored by the United States Geological Survey USGS, for signs that history could repeat itself. Researchers previously came up with the $3.7 billion, 2.7 billion pounds, plot to cool the supervolcano by drilling into the hydrothermal system. The program, dubbed, Defending Human Civilization from Supervolcanic Eruptions, started in 2015 at the NASA's Jet Propulsions Laboratory in California. The idea was to drill a ring around the magma chamber, then begin circulating water, gradually moving closer to the center. This would hypothetically release pressure from the magma plume and cool it down. Rosalie Lopez, a volcanologist who worked on the study, said in 2017, the Yellowstone volcano has the potential to really wreak havoc. This was just to start thinking if it's feasible to use the technology we have now to cool a magma chamber and therefore prevent an eruption. She emphasized it was never a concrete plan, more of an exploratory study, but Dr. Michael Poland, scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, rebuked NASA's study at the time. He said, it's fun to think about, however, the science isn't there and the idea is fraught with other problems. Yellowstone Park geologist Jefferson Hungerford added, We as humans don't have the capacity at this moment to stop a big volcano from erupting. How would we stop an eruption? The underlying premise here is to take the energy out of the system, that energy being heat, and we can't do that right now. But not everyone agreed that it was a bad idea in principle. Campi Flegre and Mount Vesuvius in Italy are studied by Dr. Luca Siena, who is also a professor at the Department of Geology and Petroleum Geology at Aberdeen University. He stated that, the NASA plan is probably less risky than what has been done in the past at Campi Flegre, where a well was drilled near to the city. He added, because the earth is very hot and high pressured, the drilling didn't go well, after 500 meters the well broke. Despite this, he's still a fan of researchers looking into ways to minimize the risk posed by supervolcanoes. He said, we have to do much more than what we are doing now to try and prevent a supervolcanic eruption. These volcanoes are going to do something one day, and this could be in 100 years in 1,000 years, or even 10,000 years. We expect still to be on the Earth in 10,000 years and if we don't do something to decrease the stress of this volcano, we won't be able to survive on the surface of the Earth. It's not a problem that we may experience tomorrow, in one year or 100 years but it is surely a problem that, if we don't tackle it now, it could be too late.